Hey Panthers, welcome to this week's Valentine's Day edition of Panther Playback. I'm Madeline. And I'm Mariana. Obviously this show is going to be more fun for others, but it's still going to be a great show. Today we have plenty of segments to get you guys in the Valentine's Day spirit, such as our take on the newlywed game. Well, I think some couples will do better than others, but it will still be a good competition. And of course we have our usual segments too. We hope you enjoy the show. I think we can all agree that it, like, sucks to be single on Valentine's Day. So we've decided to go around and ask people to be our Valentines. Let's go. All right, Emma, I have a really important question for you. Lily already answered. Okay. Will you be my Valentine? Yes! Ezekiel, will you be my Valentine? Yes, obviously. A hundred times, yes. All right, well, I got an important question to ask you. <laughs> will you be my Valentine's? Yes. Oh my God, thank you. Will you be my Valentine? Yes. <laughs> and wait, hold on, what's the question? <laughs> I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that yet. Everybody's staring at me. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Sean. What's good? Can I ask you a question real quick? Yeah, what's going on? Will you be my Valentine? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Don't be mean. I'm not being mean. <laughs> I'm saying eh, eh, eh. I have a very important uh, question to ask you. I've always wanted to ask you this. Mm -hmm. And as you know, it's that time of the year, so will you be my Valentine? Can I ask you a question? Sure. How many other girls have you asked today? <laughs> what? Just, just one? No, I know I'm not the only one. What is, um, I just uh, want to know what's your yes to no ratio? Has anybody said yes today? Uh, yeah. Will. Nobody said, nobody said yes today? Uh-uh. Oh, then I'll say yes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You made my day. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> hey, Taylor. Hi. Will you be my Valentine? <gasps> my Valentine? Oh, my gosh. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You're rolling? That's great. Gabby, I have an important question to ask you. Will you be my Valentine's? I'm sorry, but I must decline. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You'll find him one day. Hey, Xavier. Hi. Will you be my Valentine? Sure. Okay. Let's go. Woo. What's your name? Jaden. What do you say? Jaden. Will you be my Valentine? <laughs> Is that a no? Is that a no? Okay. I got an important question to ask you. Okay. Will you be my Valentine's? No, you're not Aspen. Don't break my heart. I'm sorry, you're not Aspen, so. <sighs> hey, Ricky, I have a question. What is it? Will you be my Valentine? So we don't know all that. No, I don't feel like it. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right. I have an important question to ask you. Will you be my Valentine's? Say no. Say no. No. Say no. no. Thank you. 
Hey Panthers, I'm here with this week's Panther of the Week, James Wynn. So James, what are you involved here at Pelham? I'm in the band, I play basketball, and I'm in engineering. Can you explain to us what engineering class here does at Pelham? So we learn about engineering and like we just find out how stuff work works, I guess. Yeah. Why do you think you got nominated for this week's Panther of the Week? Uh, I don't know, but I'm very thankful for whoever nominated me. What's it like being a freshman and already having such a big leadership role here at Pelham? Uh, it feels great that I can influence the people around me, and yeah. I agree. So, do you have a Valentine's you want to shout out? I do not, but I am available. Okay! All right, Burns, so who's your Valentine's this year? Well, it's a special somebody. I'm just letting y'all know that. I'm just a special somebody. Who? Who? I can't say. Y'all just gonna have to figure it out. What's her first uh, first letter in her name start with? It start with a K, but that's all. 
All right. All right, so who's y'all's Valentine's this year? This is my Valentine. And this is mine. Aww. All right, Matthew, so who's your Valentine's this year? My mama. What y'all going to do? We're going to eat chocolates. Chocolates, nice. Who's your Valentine? Connor. Isn't that the dude that started beef with our letterman? Yes. What a shame. So what are your plans for Valentine's Day? Um, me and my boyfriend are probably going to go get a fancy dinner and go to Top Golf. Ooh, sounds like a plan. Who's your Valentine's? Crystal Luna. What are y'all going to do? I'm going to give her a bear. That's all I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, who's your Valentine's? Sandra Barrero. What are y'all going to do? We're going to go on a date. That's nice. Mr. Riley, what are your plans for Valentine's Day? Well, we're going to go to church, and then after that, way, we're going to go to Burger King because she can have it her way at Burger King. Yes, sir. We ain't going out. Uh-uh. Burger King. Burger King. BK. Get the coupon, you heard? Jordan, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go get some new drill, going to my sister's baby shower, you know, baby harmony on the way, auntie vibes. Oh, Dallas, what's your plans for Valentine's? Um, being single, probably go on a date by myself though, you know. Ooh, okay, okay. Who is your Valentine's? Uh, Michael Prince and my girlfriend. What are you gonna do with Michael Prince and your girlfriend? Well, I'm gonna make sure Michael doesn't uh drop the weight while doing a rat, <laughs> doing a squat. <laughs> I, I think that's some kind of inside joke. I don't know. What are your Valentine's Day plans? Sitting at home and alone because I don't believe in love. Oh, that's deep. That's deep. All right, so what are y'all going to do for each other on Valentine's Day? We're going to go on a date. Whoa, what about you? I mean, I'm going to get him some clothes and maybe some chocolates if he's into it. I feel that. That's considerate. That's real considerate. I'm glad y'all are doing that. So what are y'all plans for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go buy you a teddy bear. For real? Okay. February 14th is a Sunday, therefore you will see me at church. Yes, sir. Who is your Valentine's? That cutie right there. <laughs> so what's your plans for Valentine's Day? I'm cooking for the first time for my boyfriend. What? What you gonna cook? Uh, teriyaki pork tenderloin with pineapples, and then for dessert I'm making uh, brownies with ice cream. No cap. Let me come over and taste, bro. No cap. Hey PHS, it's four of your favorite Panthers here at Birds and Burgers in Alabaster, not too far from the high school. It's a restaurant Mr. Foster swears by. So we're gonna go see what the hype's about. Let's go inside. All right, for first impressions, it's a very nice restaurant, very well put together, looks very clean in here. It smells really good too, so I'm sure the food he'll make us is gonna be great. So I have the bacon cheddar. I have the wine burger. So we're gonna try it. I have the original cheddar burger, or I don't even know what it's called, but I think it's what it's called, but it's really good. I have the fried chicken burger, and it's really good. All right, I rate my burger a 9 out of 10. It was very good, had immaculate taste. The way the ketchup and cheddar in my just melted my taste buds. My fried chicken burger was really good. It was like a 7 out of 10, little dry, but still really good when 100% come back. Hey guys, so I got the cheddar bacon burger. It was super good. It had the like best amount of bacon on there. There was cheddar. I mean, cheddar cheese, there was like pickles on it. It was super good. I love it, and I recommend this place. I got the um, Hawaiian burger. It had uh, pineapple on it and bacon and the burger on it, and it was really good. The pineapple was a really good combination with it, and their fries were so good, and the salsa they have with the fries, I'm taking that home. All right, Panthers, that's it for us here at Birds and Burgers in Alabaster. It's an amazing restaurant, and there's even a drive through if you don't want to get out of your car. Mr. Foster was right for the first time. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. I'm JD. And I'm Madeline, and we've been dating for two years. My name is Eli. My name is Marissa. Uh, we have been together for eight months. I'm Shelby. I'm Nico. Um, we've been dating for two years. Almost two years. I hate you. I hate <laughs>
<laughs> Does that count? Strawberry yeah. dressing? Edge and Madonna. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, I knew that! I knew that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm ashamed. I mean, I'm ashamed. You I'm knew. disappointed. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, thank God. I British. thought second guess was Australian. That's where we're at the bottom. Um, I guess we probably can't no, read that. British. So. The British is my favorite accent. Wait, my accent. Wait, actually. Wait. Oh, it just just changed. Change. <gasps> I thought you were gonna write it. I'm scared. <laughs> I, I originally was, and then I remember. Nothing. What's your name? Oh. oh. What'd you say? Okay, yeah. What'd you put? That's crazy. <laughs> Wait, did we actually? Let's go. Yeah. Mariah Tate and the girls looking to beat the Kaleer Eagles and continue their momentum through the postseason. Lacey Gogan starting it off right with a nice layup on the left side of the court. Victoria West analyzing. Penetrates the defense and gets the nice finish. Lacey Gogan skipping through the lane. That's an easy bucket for her. She's been doing that a lot recently. Mariah Tate doesn't get it to fall and gets the and one for the Panthers. Nas Daniel doing her thing with a nice bucket over the Kaleer Eagles. Lacey Gogan hitting a three. She's been hitting those very recently for the Panthers. Lacey Gogan in the open court. Nobody to stop her. Don't miss it, please. Thank you. We needed those. We need those. Victoria West doing her thing. Nas Daniel at the top of the key with a nice jumper. She's been hitting those very recently for the Panthers. Kaylin analyzing. Victoria West catches it in the middle. Lacey Gogan penetrating. Doesn't get it to fall, but Nas Daniel there to clean it up. They don't call her the janitor for nothing. Mariah Tate scrambling, getting the diving to the ball. Lacey Gogan with a nice, was that an and one ref? Where's the call? Oh, there it is. Mariah Tate with a strong take to the basket. Gogan and Tate dominating this one. Girls roll Kalira. Kendon Maddox and the boys looking to win and advance to the area championship. Roy Gonzalez with a nice pass to Kendon, and Kendon lays it in for the easy bucket. Miles went through the lane with a floater, and it is up and in. 
The Panthers scramble for the rebound, lose it. The Chilton County Tigers pick it up and splash it in with a three. Will Gonzalez with a nice layup. He was very big for the Panthers last year in the postseason. Langford with the pass to Maddox, and Maddox slams it in. Will Langford through the lane, misses the layup, but a nice hustle play by him to get the rebound and put it back up. Langford with a steal and a pass to Holloway, and Holloway lays it in for the easy bucket. A pass to Maddox, and Maddox with the hook shot. He's been performing very well this tournament. A nice pass to Maddox, and he puts it in again. Gonzalez through the lane with an up and under. Another fast break to Maddox, and he puts it in. He is not ready for his senior season to be over yet. The Panthers advance to play Kalira in the area championship. What's up, Panthers? I'm Jasmine Carrasco, and I'm here with our 4 by 2 team, a.k.a. our Athletes of the Week. Jordan Williams. Natalie Jameson. Chloe Plummer. Jacqueline Ruiz. So, Jordan, tell me a little bit about this race that happened on Saturday. So we ran the 4 by 2 Coming in state, we were ranked third, and we ended up coming home second. And it was a fun race. We all did our part, and we did amazing at that. Awesome, awesome. And Jacqueline, I know you're a senior here, the only senior on the team. So what are your plans after high school? Um, I will not be continuing track in college, but I do plan on going to college. I just don't know where yet. <laughs> nice. And what are some words of wisdom you would share with your fellow teammates? Um, to remember to always go into a race having a positive mindset because it's really all about mentality. Nice, nice. Okay, guys, with you guys being athletes and heavily involved with the school, how has coronavirus affected your season? Um, quite a few of us have had to step up and fill roles that maybe we didn't want to do um, just because we were missing a lot of our athletes and our team is a lot smaller this year. But it's encouraged us to all get a lot better and um, just find different ways to push through. What about you, Jacqueline? Um, I took a couple months off when COVID first hit, so that affected me a lot this season, but I'm working my way back. All right, all right. Um, so at the meets, we usually have water at the end where we would go and get water after we ran. It was no longer there for us. Uh, understood. That's um very tragic. Um. I basically didn't really practice as much during COVID, so it took off some time. But uh, team helped me bring it back. Obviously, obviously, you guys persevered through coronavirus and came back on top, you know, big dub. Anyway, guys, this has been our Athletes of the Week. I'm your host, Jasmine Carrasco. See you next week. That was definitely a fun show. So, Madeline, do you have any plans with your Valentine? Well, we're actually going out to dinner at the Cheesecake Factory. Do you have any plans? Since I have no Valentine, I'll be subscribing to our YouTube at Pelham High School Productions and following our Instagram at PHS underscore productions. See, See y'all next week. week. That's good. That's good. So, so, what do you do to perform in a... No. No, what? Is there fun? You get to work on... Uh, It'll be a good competition. Such as our take on the newlywed game. I completely forgot. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm following our account on Instagram. Will you be my Valentine? No. Are you ready? I've never been on the bloopers before. No, <laughs> wait. Okay, stop, stop. What? Okay. Wait, ready? Whoa. So we've gone around and we you're going sideways. <laughs>